guests and welcome to another episode uh, today i'm going to share with you the best order blocks actually you can follow in order to get the profitable setups in the market so watch this video over the end you'll be able to gain something today so now here we're gonna see which order blocks to use and in which conditions should you actually use that particular order block when you are looking for the best setup to use right so uh, let's go in the video so now guys actually before selecting an order block to use there must be like uh, three things you must first consider before even selecting an order block to use first you must uh, you must first see the market trend right you must first see the market bias where is the market trading right is it bullish is it bearish or is it in the range so after identifying that thing you must also first uh first see whether that order block made actually the fair value gap right whether it was followed with a fair value gap right so that that makes it to be a profitable order block for right and another thing actually that order block must like it must have made a break of market structure right or a break of structure right there must be a break of structure actually before throwing or before considering that order block so actually let's go in the in, around the charts and we see what i'm trying to mean guys so if you come to your chart and see what you have to first look at is the market bias right so here as you can see the market was in the bearish trend here is a higher high this is a higher low that is a higher high this is a higher low this is a higher high right so like this like this like this it breaks right so like this guys okay so this was our market here as you can as you can see it right it was making higher highs and higher lows means there are, was a break of structure right so if i take it here right what, what do i mean by a break of structure right so we have found that our market is bullish right so that break that means that is a break of structure there structure right that's what we call a break of structure or gap actually it has to be followed by a fair value gap right if if this is our order broke means like it has to be with a fair value gap just up here right before we take that order broke so if we go back to our charts here you'll see that after right you'll see that after this break of structure guys right so let me start with this break of structure we had a break of structure because it was our bridge trend right we had a break of structure there then after breaking up actually after break of structure we have to look down here and we see that we had actually like we had our fair value gap right here right we had our fair value gap which was here okay right so the market just came and we tested this fair value gap actually before it it boomed right so and actually like below that fair value gap there is that order block so what you have to know like sometimes the market will come and retest the, the order block or sometimes the market will just turn from the fair value gap right so anywhere where we get a confirmation you just enter the trade right so also if you come here there was a break of structure right here there was a break of structure just here okay so after this break of structure what you have to do is you look down here and you see whether there is an order block so here you can see that the market just came right here so there was a fair value gap here okay there was a fair value gap here right and below there is an order block right there is an order block here right so just below here there is this order block right we were looking at but also if you can see very clearly the market just came to this fair gap and if you get a confirmation from a real time frame so you just enter the market guys remember we are considering the recent market structure if you can see here this one is a bearish market why because it is making lower lows and lower highs right this is a lower high okay this is a lower low right now uh, this is a lower high this is a lower low right so guys make sure you just follow the trend right that is a lower high this is a lower low this is a lower high now we are aiming for a lower low if given right so if you come here you will see that that is your market bearish market cause it is breaking lows right as you can see it is your bearish market okay so how do we get like a uh, trades from this bearish market right so immediately after this break of structure right here immediately after this break of structure right here guys okay 
immediately after that break of structure, what you have to do is you look up and you see whether there is a fair value gap, right? There is this big fair value gap here that, that, that formed here, okay? There is this fair value gap that was formed here, right? So, and above that fair value gap, we had our order broke actually, that the market came, we had our order broke, that the market came and retested, right? We had our order broke actually, that the market came and retested, guys, right? So, the trade actually after, after getting the confirmation from the, from the lower time frame and you target your recent low, right? So, it is actually a one to, like a one to, to three trade, right? So, we had another break of structure right here. After that break of structure, if you look up here, you will see that we had this fair value gap right here. We had a fair value gap right here, okay? This was a fair value gap that was here, okay? And after, above that fair value gap, there is this good order broke, right? That the market came and retested, right? This is the very, very good order broke that the market came and retested, right? And if you go to the lower time frame and get a confirmation, this was a very, very good trade and someone who would target this, that means the TP would have been taken already, guys, okay? So, this is a very, very good strategy, actually. You, you can combine fair value gap, order block, and market structure to get very, very good setups to be forward in the market, guys. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in up the end of this video, guys.